since I was about seven. And then I haven't, yeah, I've been writing lots of poems since I was little. I tried to start a few bands when I was younger, but they didn't come, come off. But I think probably it's only been in the late, maybe four years ago that I had the confidence to do my own um, music. Yeah, I, I sort of have been doing, you know, lots of musical theatre and performing that in that avenue, but then actually, yeah, it's a totally different um, thing to do. Your own stuff is really nice. Um, <laughs> a lot of it is just stuff like that's in my brain. Um, <laughs> I have a bit of a, well, I have a vivid imagination about many things. So I, yeah, I like to write about lots of mystical creatures and stuff like that. Um, I enjoy sometimes read The New Scientist. I recently got an idea for disco lasers from that magazine, which was great. So yeah, just things in life, um, lonely whales, sometimes my own personal things that I've been through. Um, yeah, just anything that sort of made me go, ooh, that's an interesting thing to think about. <laughs> this one's called She Ate Faces. <laughs> yeah, please laugh at the jokes, it's quite what I'm seeing. Um, I definitely, I did study it. I did ballet when I was seven till about 12 and then I did, you know, jazz ballet um, and a bit of tap when I went to musical theatre school. Um, and I would like to say I'm a very good uh, interpretive dancer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's mainly what I've got going, going on. <laughs> Um, whenever I'm feeling a bit down or a bit stuck, I come out here and yeah, just something about the air and the trees. Um, and there's like a storm drain that I like to pretend is a river. <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably from being growing up surrounded by nature. It makes me feel more like myself. Ducks. <laughs> Um, music, I guess, has always been, I think it's, it's like a universal language. Everyone understands it, um, to sound really corny, I guess. Uh, the thing I love about it is that you can connect to people on a really instinctive level, because you, you know, you might be telling a story about something that's happened to you, but a lot of people will be able to connect to it. And I think there's something about music that sort of brings that out. Um, singing makes me really happy which has always been something that um, that I've had even since I was little. Um, yeah, and it's just, I don't know, it's sort of intangible, but uh, something wonderful about being able to write your songs and share them with people. So uh, we are filming, we've just finished filming, sorry, uh, Ghost, which is going to be our next single. We've just finished filming the music video. Uh, we've got another song called Susan coming out after that. So we've got quite a lot of music to release this year. Very different songs. <laughs> um, and we've got some, we've got two festivals already booked for the summer and we've got a gig in Maidstone coming up so we're sort of trying to get out of London a bit more and get more around the whole of the UK um, yeah I mean I just love to keep keep being able to perform and play music really artists like uh, Regina Spector um, I think Amanda Palmer is really brave I think um, Tori Amos uh, the Cranberries I mean I grew up literally with no need to argue the album word for word, to the point where my parents hit it so that they wouldn't have to play it anymore. It seems to be all mainly females that have inspired me. David Bowie, we'll throw him in.